This is a crystal, and this is a time crystal. Let's first go over what crystals are. Crystals are any solid structures that have atoms arranged in a repeating pattern. Ice cubes, diamonds, rock salt, all of these are crystals if we look at their atomic structure since they all repeat in the XYZ dimensions or 3D for short. In 2012, an MIT professor called Frank Wilczek thought, okay, crystals repeat themselves in 3D, but what if there was a crystal that also repeats through time? This is the theory of time crystals. So how would time crystals be different from a crystal? Let's take a look. This is an atomic structure of a diamond, a typical crystal just sitting there. But let's say this was a time crystal. Immediately, it will start to move on its own, yet there's no force helping it to move. And if you take a closer look, you will notice that they move in a pattern. It moves to point A and stays there for a second, then rolls to point B and stays there for a second, back to point A, over and over. This is what repeating through time is. It acts like a solid object for a second, then turns into a rolling one, back into a solid, constantly changing state with a pattern. Now, this theory is worth the hype for several reasons. First off, if time crystals exist, it breaks time translation symmetry, a belief that all objects will constantly follow the laws of physics. A ball, for example, will never roll uphill. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a hundred years. However, time crystals will roll both uphill one second and downhill on the other, behaving differently through time, breaking the symmetry. It also cannot be compared to any other materials we've seen before. It doesn't stay still like a solid and it can't be liquid or gas since it's still a crystal. Time crystals are a unique form of state that constantly moves in and out of motion. But the most interesting thing is, is the speed of the development. The first ever observations of time crystals was in 2017 by two universities, but then an actual simulation was made just four years later. Even this September, there's a major conference planned for time crystals. The theory only started a decade ago, but how far we came in that time is crazy. It gives us a real-time scope that science is still an evolving subject. All it takes really is time.